Hi everybody, it's Steve from Corporate Gone Country. I'm an ex-corporate guy just trying to do country things. And the country thing we're doing today is we're talking about cell phone signal booster installation. I ordered the device off of Amazon and there was plenty of them to choose from. I chose this one because it had pretty good reviews and it was reasonably priced. At the time I ordered it, it was going for about $215. The brand name is Subroad, but it's hard to tell because it's really not prominently displayed on the product. Primary components are a signal booster, an inside antenna, an outside antenna, a coaxial cable, and the power supply that just plugs into any standard electrical outlet. This is the user manual that comes with it, and it's it's pretty nondescript. It's it's explanatory. Uh, it's very simplistic, but I find it interesting that the brand isn't even listed in the user manual. Anyway, I use this to set it up. One of the primary parts of this installation is this directional antenna. It's pointed due south, and the reason it's pointed that direction is because my cell tower is about 13.2 miles in that direction. Since I'm using a directional antenna, it's important that I know where the nearest cell tower is. So I tried using these cell tower locator websites, but they turned out to be pretty much useless. The thing I found most useful was the WeBoost app. You can just download it onto your phone for free. And there's a button down at the bottom on the home screen that says find. You just push that, lay the phone flat out in front of you, and the arrow automatically points you in the direction of the closest cell tower. I did manage to find the location of the tower on a website called towermaps.com. And by plugging in the GPS coordinates of both locations into Google Earth, I was able to determine that the cell tower was 13.17 miles from the house. And so by pointing it directly at the tower, I increase the ability for the cell phone booster that's inside the house to receive a good signal and boost it so that we have better use inside the house. So I repurposed that mounting bracket from a bracket that I bought with a weather station and I used another way to mount that weather station. Got a couple of U-bolts up there uh, to put that antenna on and then just attach the bracket to the house. And I found an old feeder leg that I was able to screw in to the elbow of that weather station mount. And I've got me a nice directional antenna set up. One end of the coaxial cable simply screws into a receptor that's built into the outside antenna. That white cable goes all the way across the top of the windows there to the other side of this awning. So here we are at the other side of the awning, and you can see that white cable just comes to a point where I know that I wanted to place the unit inside. I just drilled a hole through the wall, threaded that cable through there. I've got it pinned up with these clips here that are like a semicircle with a nail in one side. So from here, it goes into the house, and we'll see what's inside there. So this is the heart of the unit right here. It's made in China, comes in a pretty nondescript box. The antenna cable comes in from outside the house through the wall there, plugs into that top end of the box, and you can see it's got a solid green light, which means it's working well. So the cable comes out the right side of the unit there, and I've just run it behind the sofa. And then I just mounted the interior antenna on the wall inside the house. And that gives a fair amount of coverage. Every corner of the house is covered, so that's really handy. What the user manual will tell you is this interior antenna needs to be at least 32 feet away from the exterior antenna, and there needs to be some walls in between the two. Okay, with a cell booster on, I'm showing four bars of AT&T LTE in the house. So we're gonna pull the plug on the cell booster and see what happens. It 
it went down to one bar. Okay, now we're gonna plug the cell booster back in, give it a, a chance to work. And we're back to three bars. Now you really need one bar of signal for a cell phone booster to work. And we're fortunate that we do have one bar here. When we turn the cell booster on, we get another bar immediately and a lot of times two. And there's even sometimes when we're in the house that we have four bars of service. And so that's a really big boost from one. So we consider the cell phone signal booster installation that we've done to be a success. Well, good luck with any cell phone signal booster installation that you might be trying. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Thank you for viewing today. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Bye now.